live on YouTube around 4 p.m. EST, Monday, Thursday, Friday. Follow for notifications. Yo, what's up, massive family and new viewers? <laughs> Welcome to Until Dawn. This is the beginning of our journey, and I am super pumped up. I've been waiting years for this game, and it is, oh, it is so good. It's finally here, and it's so good. For those of you that don't know what Until Dawn is, it is a survival horror game where choices really, really matter. Think of it like a Telltale's horror game, but with greater control and choices with larger ramifications. Okay, this is going to be a, a new story that we start. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. This is the defining feature of the survival horror game until dawn. It's called the butterfly effect. I actually think about the butterfly effect a lot in my day-to-day -day life. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how this story unfolds. Reportedly, there are hundreds of different endings. I'm not sure if there are hundreds, but there definitely are many different endings. Your smallest decision will affect the outcome of the game and what happens in the game. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. So, uh, for those of you that are looking to pick up this game, you can still watch this, this, uh, this experience that we're gonna go on, this journey we're about to embark on, and get your own journey at the same time. and chilly. Well, it looks like it's pretty cozy in that cabin in the woods. Oh, damn! And there's the first foreshadow. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah. I've been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. I hate how giddy they are about being jerks. Mike. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Uh, come on, that is not okay. That's not just a prank, bro. <laughs> weekend. Josh. Oh my god, here we are. All right, so before we get started, I just want to show you how good this game looks. Let me bring Beth up to us and look at her sweater. Look at that. Look how damn good that sweater looks. Whoa. Whoa, zoomed in on her face. <laughs> I've actually never seen this. Wow, okay, but yeah. <laughs> look how realistic Beth looks. Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe this is an engine. We have come so far in terms of graphics and gaming. I can't wait for the next Quantum game. Heavy Rain 2, anyone? Beyond Two Souls 2? Beyond Two Souls with a 2? <laughs> okay, let's get started. So, uh, Beyond Two Souls is a exploration horror game. That means that a lot of the game comes through exploring your environment. Uh, you could go into a room, a completely optional room, and find a weapon that will help you later on. Oh, we got a glint. Doors are locked. I'm going to turn the brightness up for you guys a little bit. 
I like to keep it dark because it's just it's just better for your ambiance, your experience. However, YouTube may darken it just a little bit. So let's see how this brightness is. You can also go with motion controls, but personally, I just prefer the traditional. So that's what we're going to be using in this playthrough. And hopefully it should be loud enough. I don't want to turn on subtitles because they can be distracting. But if it isn't, let me know. Whoa, that's a little too bright. <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn the brightness down a little more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, that's better. This is a damn nice place they got here. It's really big. And I just, I can't imagine how much money they spend on heating this place and on electricity to, to keep it running maintenance. Jesus H. Christ. No wonder they got the fire going. <laughs> Save on some of the heating bill. <laughs> and it classed the place up a little bit. Jeremiah Craig, since 1794. Damn. <laughs> what? Why are you just holding a Beth drink it? God damn. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. So that's her brother right there, and that's her brother's best friend passed out in front of him. They had a drinking contest going on. And you can actually look at Beth's relationships in real time. As you can see, she's closest to her sister Hannah, but Josh comes in a close second. And she's honest, charitable, about as funny as a bag of rocks, but she's pretty brave and curious to make up for the uh, lacking in the funny in the romance department. Let's keep on moving. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're gonna look even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Smiley face with a nose. Mike. XXX. What kind of psychopath uses a nose with a smiley face? That takes away the cuteness. You don't want a realistic looking smiley face. Jesus. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I've got your note. Glad you could make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out, and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all gonna be just but... a stupid prank. Uh, Hey, you guys are jerks. You know Is that, that a selfie stick? Also, yeah. you were in on the prank, so you can't talk. What were they expecting? That they just like pop out of there and say, Ha ha, surprise! The hot guy's not into you after all. Like, what what were you thinking was gonna happen? That's not that's not a prank. That's horrible. They're all horrible human beings. So we have our first of many decisions. We can either wake Josh or find the others. I'm not going to wake Josh because honestly, he looks pretty fucking wasted. So I'm going to find the others and get help. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Hannah. It's not a joke, you asshole. What did you do? We're just messing around, Dad. That wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Yeah, okay. Let's not go after her and look after her safety. Let's just stay behind. Oh, uh, it also relies on quick time events, so you've got to have good reflexes so your characters stay alive. I'm gonna go the fast route because time is of the essence. We gotta find her sister Hannah. By the way, this game has some big name talent. You've got Hayden Pantiera in here. Pa Patanera? I don't I don't know how to pronounce the name. Then you got uh, the guy from Agents of Shield, and you have uh Fall Footprints. 
I mean, noise could be anything. You've got, uh, the guy from Need for Speed, the movie, and it's pretty awesome, actually. They've got their likenesses down, and they're all good actors and actresses, so... Jesus fuck shit. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? That's pretty cool. You can use a, a touchpad, in my Anna. opinion, as a touch, like on a touch device, like a like an in-game phone. It'd be pretty cool if uh, Grand Theft Auto V lets you do that for the smartphones in the game. Also, god damn, that's one good flashlight on your smartphone. Holy crap! I'd be pretty freaked out right now, honestly. Hello? Hello? Remember, she saw something outside of that window. What's this? What's this, Beth? This is pretty weird to find out here. Death totem. So, until dawn has uh, a bit of mythology in it. It's Indian mythology. Different totems correlate with different colors. Black totems correlate with death of whoever finds them. However, the future is not written, as was said in Lawrence of Arabia. Huh? How was that? Hannah! So, future's not written. You can change what's going to happen. How you can change it? What the hell was that? Okay, so I'd be pretty freaked out right now, Beth. <laughs> How you change the future is up to you, but also not completely up to you because Anna. your actions have unseen consequences. Anna. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Hannah? Ooh. Oh, looks like she hit her nose in the wood. No, not the no, not the phone! It's got a GPS in it! Now they're never gonna, they're never gonna find the bodies. If I drop Hannah, we both one might live, but if I let go, both definitely die. Oh, I'm sorry, Hannah! I'm so sorry. I mean, I feel like an asshole now, but one could have lived. The Analyst. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. 
Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. I cut off your jaw shit. <laughs> that's the guy from Big Lebowski. That's the I cut off your jaw shit guy. That's the, that's the, the nihilist. See, I think that's a that's a pleasant scene. I love fall, personally. Very nice. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uh, you know what? I like fall, so... I gotta say, it kind of makes me happy. Oh, well, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Oh, I guess the... Really the peacefulness, maybe the sunshine. I don't like that barn in the distance, though. Oh. Interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? A week? Uh, you know... I don't know about that. And why is that? Well, it's just not smart. I mean, what if, uh, I don't know who's in that barn. I don't know the area. Uh, it looks like it's in the middle of nowhere, so I don't want to get, get killed. Oh, there's something in that picture that scares you? You know what? I guess that scarecrow is kind of ominous. Uh. Well, that is very interesting. I'm afraid we're out of time, but please, I would like you to contemplate. What is it that is missing from that picture? Hmm? This thing that is driving your fear. We need to unwrap it. Next time. Don't, don't, don't cut off my Johnson, please. Don't cut off my Johnson. Just save my Johnson. Uh, cut, cut off anything you want, just not, not that. Supermassive games, you head out of the ballpark. Until dawn.
Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Hey, that sounds yes. pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty hyped up. I didn't realize this game was gonna be a porn star party. And also, damn, that intro was hype! <laughs> Chapter 1, Memento Mori. Ten hours until dawn. Now, this is a live stream, so you guys gotta let me know how the audio is. I'm trying to keep... Oh, God. So close to her. Like, she just got off of that bus. Uh, remember, I'm mixing this audio live. I'm trying to keep the dialogue as loud as I can, so tell me how it is. Sam, Hannah's best friend. She's diligent, considerate, and adventurous. And also looks a lot like Hayden Pantier. Is it? Ah, it's a, it's a really odd coincidence. <laughs> Hello? Someone there? That's the cable car station. 21 hours and two seconds. Oh, a lot of crows around here. Uh, I don't like that. That's a little, uh, a little foreboding. What do I think of this game? It is fantastic, Marwan. It is. It does what it sets out to do perfectly, in my opinion. It's a great horror slasher game. I'm gonna check up on her relationship statuses. Looks like she's not particularly close to anyone, but particularly not Jess or Mike, who are 
the ones most responsible, I would say, for Hannah and Beth's death. She's really not funny and really not romantic, not really curious, but she is honest, very charitable, and very brave. So, she's got that going for her. Yo, gate's busted. Oh, Climb what? over. Sent from Chris. And look at this in the back. Little detail. It's also from Chris, uh, who sent an email to uh, Josh asking how he got there again. So, these are, these are the directions. And he had that piece of paper on him, so he wrote something down, a little note for the rest of the uh, visitors arriving. Also, really nice of you, Hannah, to just drop that note. <laughs> what if you're not the last one here? Let's do it quick. Why not? She's brave. She's adventurous. Hit that just in time. Uh, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Nice. God, if she slipped off right now and scraped her knee on that cold stone. Oh, I shudder at the thought. It's a beautiful little pathway, if not a little creepy, a little bit eerie. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, a lot of really cool instances like this where you gotta stay frosty and stay chill. As you can see, the bar on my PlayStation controller was moving inside of that uh, very tiny outline, and I had to keep it perfectly still, perfectly level inside of that outline. Otherwise, this squirrel would have been spooked by too much mus uh, movement from Sam. Damn, this is a nice place. <laughs> cool. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. And white butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. So let's find some of those white butterflies! Oh yeah! I'm, I'm totally down for knowing about some luck and good fortune coming my way. Uh, so if you don't want to... Uh, See, we, we know the color of this, uh, of this totem. So we really don't have to pick it up if we don't want to. If we don't, if, like, let's say this is a black totem foretelling our possible death. If we didn't want to know about it, we didn't have to. But honestly, nothing wrong with knowing. But this is just a guidance totem. And you can go back anytime and check out the totems in your playthrough in the in-game menu. So, once you have some new info, you can go back and check up on your totem, see if you can figure it out. And that was the second totem of the game. Damn. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Look at that. Wow. First thing I notice is this writing over here. What is this? The past is beyond our control. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. Like she said, that's uh, that's pretty creepy. This is a pretty isolated area. Actually, let's take another look at this. Let's study this for a second, guys. So you can see uh, where we are right now. There is the lodge up there. And there is the sanatorium up there. This gives you a basic understanding of the scope and scale and map of the game. Let's take a quick look around. In fact, let's take a look around back. Chris? Are you here? Hmm. 
We got a little glint over here. Oh man, look at this. Wanted. Milgram Victor. Sex male, height 6'2. Last known address, Blackwood Pines. Last seen, 1998. Wanted in connection with a first degree arson offense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Mounted Constable Airy. Police Mounty Provinciale de Blackwood, July 1998. Mm -mm. And look at this, actually, look. I can't, there we go. Come on, go back to it, go back to it. Ah, whatever. The top of the wanted poster is torn off, so we can't see the face. This is one of the Mysterious Man Mysteries. So, when you're going through your playthrough, check that out. It's one of the collectible type items. And this is why it's so important to explore in Until Dawn. Had we needed that gun in the future, we would now know where it is. If we had just gone through the most straightforward path, then we may not have ever seen that gun, and we'd be in deep shit if we actually needed it. Bag's here, where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Oh, uh, hell no. Uh-uh. I am not a snooper. Uh, I'm gonna leave this up to you guys. Quickly, tell me if I should close or snoop. <laughs> so, this is one of the decisions that, like, introduces what you call a butterfly effect. This seems like a very small decision. However, this will affect... Who knows what? It could affect everything to a great degree. It could affect things to a very minor, small degree. So, just... You know, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. There are unseen ramifications for everything. Oh, uh, we've got one for close. One vote to close the bag and not snoop. We got one for snoop. One, two for snoop. Three, four, for five, six. It looks like everybody's saying, oh my god. Everybody's saying snoop. Aha! Look who it is. He knows it. Chris. Chris, he's methodical, has a crush on Athley. <laughs> Athley, Ashley. He's protective and humorous. And you know what? He's probably not gonna not gonna trust Sam as much now that she's stooping through his stuff. You scared me. I, I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I. I can take it from here. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. So, uh, we got a rule in this live stream. One, no spoilers in chat. And two, uh, if you see a decision like that, immediately, as fast as you can, type in what you want me to do. Just start typing. Want to make this a bit of an interactive type live stream. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Ah, uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. Okay, so we're at the cable car station. We're now taking control of Chris. Note the hour that it is now. Nice shot. Wow, nice shooting 
Tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm, bad. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh hell no. Okay. So Oh, this is one of those choices. One of those choices. But I'm not gonna shoot that cute little squirrel. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> nice one, Chris. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. I'm glad all you guys are saying, don't shoot the squirrel. Don't shoot the squirrel. Thank you, guys. I was afraid you'd be like, shoot it! Man, it is... It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Year goes fast. Way to get all sage on us, Chris. It really does go fast. Also, it's a really nice quality jacket Chris has got. I don't know how he keeps it all together. I... Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. I mean, you can't blame him. If you're homeless, you need a warm place to stay, you know? Look at this place. Looks abandoned. Looks warm. It's shelter. I can't blame him, but I can't blame him for locking it either, because it is private property. After you. A oh, real gentleman. Look at that view. Car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How Actually, long is this gonna take? Uh, you can see the cable no. car. Yeah. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing, like a sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem, "The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Forest." Oh, shut up. You know what? The mountain does kind of look ominous. Ah, uh, gotta agree with Sam there. It really does. Oh, hey, poster. Don't want to miss this. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. Not so rich. Family bought a mountain. Yeah, gotta be rich to buy a mountain. Blackwood Pines Hotel and Sanatorium. For a healthy body and a healthy mind. Honestly. If I were to stay at a hotel, yeah, I don't think uh, my first choice would be the Blackwood Sanatorium. <laughs> huh. Huh. Why do you go, huh? Oh, you know what? I think I just saw what he went, huh, about. Alright, so... It wasn't looking at the outside at first. Did you see that? The camera was looking somewhere else. And it didn't switch back, so it's not like it's on a cycle. I wonder what it was looking at. I actually didn't get a good look at it. It's still looking on the outside now. That's weird. Cable car is... Yeah, cable car's here. Finally. You coming? Yeah, well, I was going to stay here and catch some Z's, but... Okay. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. 
adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Yep. Boom. Butterfly effect. I think about that all the time. And that was a perfect analogy, too. I, I don't have subtitles on because subtitles are distracting and I don't like to have them on. I try to make the voices loud enough. You tell me if subtitles are necessary. Hopefully... The voices should be loud enough, however. And this is Jess, who is Mike's new girlfriend. She's trusting, confident, and... That's... It's a... It actually froze at kind of a creepy time. It's kind of a creepy expression that she's got on her face. I'm gonna keep playing. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. And we are now in control of Jess, who is at the top of the ski lift. God, look at the lighting in this game. It is just incredible, like how good the lighting looks. Look at look at this light over here. Look at how it how it like fades off on every surface, and the light actually hits the surfaces realistically. Oh man, it's, these graphics are amazing. Anyway. <laughs> let's let's just let's move on with the game. Where do I how do I get off this thing? Where's the uh Where are the stairs getting off? Thought they're over here. Oh, I have to just keep walking to my right. Okay. <gasps> Shit. What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica, over here! Uh are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Okay, so I raised the game volume a little bit and lowered my mic volume so you can just raise, like, your entire volume on your computer. Hopefully she'll be good now. Oh. My. God. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Oh, man. Chris, don't be an asshole, man. See, if... Oh, God damn... See, if we didn't snoop, if Jess didn't snoop his phone, then Chris wouldn't have done this to Jess. <sighs> uh, you know what? I think that she should explain that she's with Mike now. But, on the other hand, he shouldn't have... It's none of his business in the first place. It's none of Chris's business. <sighs> I'm gonna have her explain it. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear-cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. It is pretty clear-cut.
All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? And this is Mike's ex. She is a... She's a bitch, okay? <laughs> she's a bitch. She's intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. That's not what makes her a bitch. She's just a bitch. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. And this is the poor sap that's Emily's new boyfriend. His name's Matt. He's a good guy. He's motivated, ambitious, and active. And... Pussy whipped. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Seriously though, she just stomps all over him and Mike... Like, is definitely better off with Jess. Jess is a, is a... is a... she seems like a good person, as far as I can tell. In fact, most of these people are pretty good people. Sam's a pretty good person. Uh, 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 Jess is a pretty good person. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. You know what? I just thought of something. Oh, no. I think Emily's gonna give Sam a hard time now. Oh, I'm not Sam, uh, Jess. Oh, no. I think we screwed Jess. Oh, wait, we can look at, uh, his face. Let's do that. If you don't move your controller, it'll zoom in if they're facing the camera. Neat little feature. Oh, no, I feel bad for Jess. Emily's gonna be horrible to her, because she already told, uh, Sam and Chris, and Chris and Sam are gonna tell her. What do you think? Ah! Jesus! Jesus! <laughs> And this is Mike, Emily's ex, and Jess's new boyfriend. He's intelligent, intelligent, driven, and persuasive. Kind of like, uh, kind of like Emily. And you guys want subtitles, so I'm gonna turn them on after <laughs> this scene. You guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Oh, God damn it, Mike. <laughs> I kind of want to threaten him, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like he's that type of guy. I think that he would be like, hey, step off. But, listen, let's all be cool to each other, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. Nah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't wanna make this weird. Cool. So we're good? Why do you keep creating music? You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. <laughs> One of you guys wouldn't hashtag Team Mike. Seriously? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Uh, that, 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 that's awfully uh, suspicious, Emily. That's, uh, that's pretty suspicious of you. Uh, you looked and lingered in Mike's direction, and you're gonna go in Mike's direction right now? You're telling me to go away? I don't know if I trust that. I don't know if I trust that. But you know what? This is a this is a good guy, and he's pretty honest. He's pretty trusting, so he's not gonna make a scene. 
All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Poor guy. Oh, man. A lot of you guys wanted me to persist. A lot of you guys wanted me to persist. In fact, it's unanimous almost. Almost everyone said persist. Now I regret it. I should have persisted on uh, my thoughts to stay there. But I mean, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. I feel like that would go against his personality. All right, Ashley, academic, has a crush on Chris, and Chris also has a crush on Ashley, as we saw from Sam's phone snooping. And she's inquisitive and forthright. That's cool, we're using a viewfinder right now. Hey, there's, uh, there's Jess. Uh-oh. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. No, Ashley, I mean, it kind of looks like they're arguing, if you ask me. Look at that. See, look, she... Watch it, watch. She kind of pushes him away a little bit. So, you guys tell me what you think in the comments. I'm going to be reading them. Uh, tell me if you think that they're arguing, because I think that they're arguing. You tell me if you think they're, they're doing that, or if they're trying to, like, I don't know, get it on. Oh! oh God. <laughs> hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not, like, for real oh scare you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? Uh, uh, it, Let me check uh, it out. Uh, uh, um, mislead him or encourage him? See, uh, if I encourage him to take a look, he could take it the wrong way. He could see, because, uh, you know what? I'm going to go with my decision in that I didn't think that they're arguing. I mean, I thought they were arguing. I didn't think that they were doing anything wrong. It looked like Emily wasn't having any of his, like, putting hands on her. Yep, it's kind of busted. It's not, it's not like really interesting. It's just... What? For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right, so most of you guys are saying encourage him. Okay. Uh, sure. Help yourself. Oh. Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Matt. Oh, no. Oh, no. I should have insisted. And we're back to Jess at the upper car cable station. It's now 2141. We could read a book or check a phone. Huh. She doesn't seem like the reading type. Uh, honestly. Kind of seems like a cheerleader. So I think I'm going to have her check her phone. You did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Survival sneaky. instincts, bitch! Gotta try harder than that, hero. Yeah, step up your game, Mike. Step up your game. Where are you hiding, little chickadee? 
Oh, ah! Hey! Oh, snap! I'm not hitting that bird. <laughs> Hello? Come on. <laughs> hey, Mike! Boom, shakalaka! Okay. Oh, you got me. Fair Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. That's Michael. very true. I know all your That's tricks. very true. So I am not gonna do anything. Poor little birdie. Whoa! Ow. That's right. Point yes. And then what? Oh, oh. No more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! Done! Done city! So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. <laughs> alright, alright. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. My lady? She seems into it. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. <laughs> All you guys are saying, kiss, kiss, make them kiss. God damn, pony bunch of motherfuckers. <laughs> you guys still want subtitles? Hello again. And how are we feeling? Seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Hmm. You know what? Uh, men are obviously, the easy thing is that they're physically imposing, but I feel women a little more evil. A little more insidious. Scary in the ways that aren't necessarily on the surface. Planes or crowds? I would have to say that picture of a crowd is pretty creepy. Crowds, a lot can happen to a crowd. There's a lot of commotion. You may not see it right away. A lot of shankings, a lot of muggings. Drowning, definitely. Hmm. <sighs> Snake is the obvious choice, but rats carry disease, and I'm looking for the things like under the surface, so I would have to say that rats scare me more on a whole. Oh, definitely knives. Who wants to be gutted with a knife with cold steel? Cockroaches 
also carry disease, but not as much as rats. And they can't really bite you. Looks like you guys agree with me on rat part. <laughs> A lot of you guys don't like rats. Hmm. <laughs> that picture of that clown is damn creepy, but you know what? There's something to be said about scarecrows. I mean, aside from Batman. They're just, uh... Like, what's under that? <laughs> It'd be... I expect human to be under the clown. But I don't expect human to be under the scarecrow. Gore does disgust me. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. That's a damn nice microphone. I mean, uh, uh, me metronome. Also, he's right. Spiders. Mm -mm -mm. Syringes. What am I being injected with? You know? That's, uh, that's anything to do with surgery. Zombies. I mean, think of how, like, just picture it. Day in and day out, just... Having your house boarded up in fear of zombies like trying to knock down your door. Everyone likes to put on a tough face to zombies, but <laughs> you wouldn't be the knife wielding badass that there are in the movies. That's just not realistic. Still needles. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so. Diligent. <laughs> Spiders, zombies, and needles. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Can we? Go back to the Friday night part where that sounds like a good Friday night? What the fuck? Hey, hey, I'm not so sure I trust you as my psychiatrist anymore. You're a little... Yeah. <laughs> Previously on Until Dawn. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. Oh, Jesus Christ. No! Shut up! First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Oh, son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? I Chapter 2. Jealousy. All right, so this is Josh. His parents are loaded. He was Hannah and Beth's brother. He's complex, thoughtful, and loving. And his best friend is Chris, the blonde guy. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys, get up here okay? Yeah, well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, 
yo, yo. We need to get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. We're gonna gossip about... Uh, or we're gonna worry and ask if he's doing all right. You know what? I mean, Chris is, uh, Chris is one for gossip, but I think he might be worried about his friend. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be, like, a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Uh, fun fact, Josh is actually the actor from Need for hey, Speed. Ash. Hi, Chris. And not at the museum. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Yeah. Come on, Chris. Just ask her out. She likes you, too. Don't be shy. Let's check up on how everyone's relationships are doing. So, Chris likes Ashley and Josh a lot. He actually likes Jess a little more than he, uh, than he used to. I guess that's because Jess explained that she was in a relationship with uh, Mike and shared some info with him. I'm surprised that he's kind of like feeling the same about Sam, even after Sam snooped through his stuff. Very forgiving of him. He's a little, he's feeling a little romantic right now. He's not feeling too brave, but he's feeling very charitable and not very honest. Probably in revenge to what Sam did to him with her dishonest snooping. Damn, this game looks good. It's cold. It's looking pretty hot today, right? <laughs> it's cold in my house, so I'm feeling this. I see a glint. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? No. Absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? <laughs> like, that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. <laughs> oh my god, Josh. You're taking the bro zone so far. But you know what? I like your enthusiasm and... Chris, you're taking a long-ass time. Ashley's gonna think that you're not interested in her, and it might hurt her feelings, honestly, if, uh, if you just keep, like, doing your best to ignore her romantically like this, because she does like you, man. So, I'm gonna tell him to, uh, I'm gonna tell him to agree with, uh, with Josh here. Also, one of you guys said I sound like a killer because of my deep voice. I, uh, I might be the killer. You see, every one of my decisions will either end up with people dying or living, and at the end of this game, either everyone could be dead, Everyone could be alive, or any possibility in between. So we'll see. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. Hey, we got another status update. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's feeling super romantic. And he bonded with Josh a little bit. He is feeling more honest than he was, less charitable, and less funny. I guess because he wasn't really being funny in his talk with Josh, he was just being honest. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. Yep, he's right about that. <laughs> I'm gonna check the volume and see if I can turn up a little bit.
already have dialogue a little louder than everything else. Yeah, that should be pretty good, honestly, actually. You guys can raise your uh, sound a little bit. You know what? Yeah, it's good, it's good. What's this? Damn, I'm getting pretty low on juice here. Uh, I just had to turn off my GPS. I'm finally, like, outside, where I might actually use it. Can you cool it on the phone talk? What? Why? It's pretty much all you talk about. Well, you know, I mean, I could do all this stuff and... Well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge? Nope. Chris is a bit of a, get you a techno kid. Well, actually, Dude, this... you don't. The answer is that you don't. <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. The axe is gone, and the glass for the axe has been smashed. Oh no. Oh no. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. You know what? I wish I would have looked around a little more. attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the <laughs> climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, what, what is it? Okay, so... I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's a, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we do with the Lormy dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. All right, let's uh, see if we can find that deodorant, wherever that is, and work on that frozen lock. It seemed damn cold outside. Oh, what the hell? There's a totem inside. What kind, what color is this? It looks like a yellow or brown totem. That is a brown totem. It is a lost totem. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. The hell was that? Heard a noise. Pretty, pretty dark in here. I am gonna take a look around. There might be something helpful. Not seeing anything. This is where the noise came from, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna see if Josh. Uh, the, I'm gonna not Josh. I'm gonna see if Chris is more like scared by seeing that axe gone. No, he's got the same level of bravery as before. I guess we have to go in the next room. What's this? Ex-janitor, convicted for arson, swears revenge on movie mogul's family. Oh, damn. Look, this is even burned. Oh, my God. Okay, so Josh's parents are loaded, right? And they bought this mountain. They bought this former hotel, sanatorium, lodge on the mountain. And I think that that's, uh, that's Josh's family, the movie mogul's family. What date is this? 1997. Mm-mm-mm. And he went missing in 1998. Well, 
Looks like there's nothing else in there. I don't really see a lot around here that we could use. Oh, there's another doorway. We'll look here one more time. Okay, looks like we're good. Wow. Nothing in here. It's really dark. Looks like we're into the house part of the lodge now. So that's good, I guess. <laughs> it's still very empty and very creepy. Ah, uh, what's in? Uh, can't open that door. Uh, so Josh's family. Huh? That's cool. Oh man, there's Hannah and Beth. Josh's mom and dad. That's his last name, Washington, the Washington family. And you guys happen to see the name Washington on that scrap of paper? Oh. Oh, shit. What the hell was that? Oh, no. Oh, no, what was that? Can I open the door? Hey, there's not exactly a draft going through the house, Chris. You guys hear that? It's very faint. It's almost like... It's almost like whispering. Still, I don't see anything around here. There's a doorway, so I'm not gonna open that door just yet. I'm gonna take... Oh, sh... No, oh, no. I heard glass break. I'm gonna take a look around before we head to that door. This is a big place. God damn, this is a big place. Beautiful, though. This is a killer house. It used to be a hotel. My god, what would you do with all the space? TV's not working. Can't interact with the light switches. I guess the uh, power must be out. I'm not liking all these white shapes. I know it's sheets and furniture, but still. It's giving me the heebie jeebies. Chris can Chris can barely see where he's going. I, I I can't see where Chris is going right now. It's so damn dark. Now we're going downstairs. Or are we going up? Okay, we are going downstairs. So you know what? We're gonna backtrack. We're gonna go and open that door. I thought that was like the uh, the, the final destination, but I guess it's not. So I'm gonna backtrack, and there might be something useful in there that we can use in the future. It's hard to navigate. There's just so much. Is this the door where we came out of? Yes, it is. Okay. Found my way back. And this is the door. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be like getting the lock open or something? On it. Okay. <laughs> that was the door to the outside. I misremembered that. Let's head back downstairs. Damn. Mm mm mm. How much money do you think a place? Oh, we can go upstairs too. How much money do you think a place like this costs? Like maintenance. Bet it costs a lot. Well, I mean, they probably own and operate it as a hotel in, in some months, too, probably. Because uh, Beth was talking about how it's just going to be like them. So I'm, so I'm sure that, like, the family was like, Okay, kids, uh, listen, 
You can invite your friends, have a nice time at the hotel, and have it all to yourselves. Kind of like a like a shining ordeal. So every little thing will affect your survival. Which is why we are getting a good fix on the place right now and seeing what we can find. That door is locked. Okay. What's this? Uh, just, just some pots and vases. A bookshelf. Some seating. I'm almost like hearing whispers right now. Don't know what that whispering's about, but it makes me a little nervous. He seems to be doing good. He's not very alarmed. I'd be kind of concerned about that. <laughs> Honestly. I don't trust like that. I'd be a little nervous about those windows being open. They obviously haven't been open for very long because there's not a lot of snow inside. Finally made it inside of the bathroom. Oh, thank God it doesn't have axe. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, shit! Get the fuck! Ah! Jesus Christ! Freezing our buns off out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Josh, this is your place. Can you, like, sweet. guarantee oh, you that there aren't any sweet more Wolverines? Not the word I'd use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. He's not somebody to warn people, honestly. I think that, uh, I think that Matt would just challenge him. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M. At the telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? Right. Yeah. Duh. Sorry, it's been kind of a long day. I overreacted. Nah, man. Don't worry about it. We cool? Yeah, yeah, totally. Mike seems pretty... pretty, uh... close to Jess, so... I don't think... Oh my god. I maybe he wants so Emily. So gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Em. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? What no a bitch. one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you 
not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. That's real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. You know what, I'm gonna defuse the situation because honestly, Emmy's, Emily's being a bitch and she started it. Em, come on. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, the watch fuck? it. Oh, you're the only what? one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. Yeah, they're both awful. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Jesus. Oh, man. They're they're both being awful. Can I tell them both to stop it? Oh, Chase. What, what do I say here? Oh, man. I feel like Jess is starting to provoke it a little more now. Emily may have started it, but Jess is really getting into this, so I... And you know what? She called him a dumb oaf, so screw it. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No. You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for 10 minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah, yeah, all right. You wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. It's right up the trail. <sighs> Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh... Should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my God, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Whoa. Do I you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. It's a, it's a damn nice jacket. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. Someone, someone's gonna call her Little Miss Perfect in a really derogatory way at some point. Like, oh, well, you're just Little Miss Perfect, uh, aren't you? Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, burr. How far is this cabin, anyway? This cabin is the coziest most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! You're gonna need these. Porn star? I paid to see you. Uh, gross. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. Oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. No, he wasn't. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? Stop making a big That's... deal out of it, Jess. No. What a... Jesus. Jesus. She would be that type of person that, like, makes a big deal out of a little joke. And tries to, like, get her boyfriend jealous over it and incite stuff. Ah. Damn it, Jess. From the first encounter, I thought she was going to be cool. I guess not. Whoa, what's that? Could have sworn I saw a glint. In fact, I'm going to make sure that 
I have not missed any glints. I'm gonna take a look around here. Excuse me, Jess. Jess, excuse- thank you. Uh, not seeing anything. Let's keep moving, I guess. Anything over here? Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Am I crazy or did I see a glint? Could have sworn I saw a glint. Ah, whatever. Let's just keep moving. I'm gonna check how he's doing. Uh, so he is not very happy with Matt. And that is my fault. A little sorry about that. Being honest. Damn, this game looks good. The sound design is really nice as well. I hope you guys can hear it okay. Nice rustling of wind, crushing of snow. Yeah, that's true. One of the guys in the comment section just said that your actions, like, uh, define the characters. And they're, they're, your actions really do. Your actions will change the characters a lot. So you gotta watch your own actions, your own decisions. Let's check this gate. Don't know if it's locked, so I'm gonna go check this shit out before we move on. Because I don't want to miss anything. What is this place? Oh, wait, we got something over here. A totem. This looks like a red totem warning of danger. The fuck? <laughs> oh, hell no! Oh, no. All right. Let's see. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Well, let's try it again. Woo! You are a wizard! Nice. Oh! Oh, shoot! It was this window. It was this window that he came out of. Oh, man. Oh, I don't want to go on that path. Oh, no. Jess, Jess, listen to me. Jess, okay, there's something out there. And I don't think we should find out what it was. Let me give it a second, hold on. Look how good the faces look in this game. It's so damn real. This is operating off of a modified Killzone Shadowfall engine, by the way. Footprints in the snow, still there. Zam! The gates shall open. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Totally. That was just awesome. Oh yeah. I bring the hits. <laughs> Mike's looking around with his flashlight. Nice bridge. You, yet? you don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure. A sexcapade. <laughs> <laughs> she is gonna be in porn. Okay, I don't see anything around us. Let's keep moving. Kinda of funny that she put music on to set the mood already. I'm not seeing anything around here, or hearing anything. But, I still don't trust it. Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm 
getting the creeps now. It's all such a blur. I can barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean, it's not our fault they ran into the woods. Yeah. How could anyone have expected them to do a dumb thing like that? Yeah, a dumb thing like that. really quiet out here. It is kind of creepy that the police tape <laughs> wasn't even removed. Jesus. Um, did you hear that? I heard something. Yeah. Wow. Alright, I would be absolutely terrified right now. Oh, holy crap. That scream, though. Damn. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. You know what? Fuck it. We're adventurous. We will... Ah! Ah! Oh, yes! shit. Fuck. Hey, Jessica. Yep. Hey. Um, okay. Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh... <laughs> you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Seven? Seven? Um... <laughs> Heroic. Is, is Mike gonna jump down and push the car? I think he's the heroic type. Alright, coming after you. Just stay put. Oh, shit. Hey, handsome. Wanna help me move this cart thing? You know, if Mike didn't jump down, then... If, if he would've waited for the cart to be pushed, that he can jump inside of... Oh, he might've been killed. Just grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, so most of you users uh, said that we should choose the heroic option, so you guys would have lived too. <laughs> most of you guys would have lived. Awesome. Damn, this is really dusted down here. A lot of grit. You walk in front of me, Jess. I I I'll be good. I'll follow you. I'll follow you. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. I'll just trail behind. Ah! Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh. Oh, Those oh, things are heavy crap. as hell. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm fine. Oh, man. I could have crushed him if he didn't stop it in time. Especially if it got under his oh, legs. Nelly, this place is giving me the willies. And not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. Well, we could go left or right. I think we should go left. Uh, right is where that minecart came from. And I don't trust like that. I don't like this either. Ah! Oh, ah! Shit. You alright? Uh, yeah. Close one. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. Yeah, it's pretty uh it's pretty dangerous out here. So 
I mean, just aside from the aside from the man that's here that they're not aware of, this place is dangerous as hell. It's an abandoned mine. For who knows how many years. Jesus. This place is a real fixer-upper. Okay, so there's a flood risk. Supports collapsed. Uh, supports crust. Where are we? Okay, so where I think we are is... I think we are, uh... You guys can't actually see my mouse or anything, but... You see the middle of the map? Where you can deviate and go left or go forward? I think that's where we are. So, let's be careful of those dangers on that map as we move forward. It's, it's a pretty spooky place. This we're out of the mine. Although we could go back and explore the mine a little bit. Still, it's nice being out of there. And if we go back, we could die. Because anyone and everyone can die, so. What's this? Just uh just a stop the minecart used to uh used to be here, I guess. We're almost at the cabin, so that's nice. Who knows who this guy could be? Well, well. When Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Eh, I'm take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the stump speech, buddy. Oh, a telescope! Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. All right. I just saw someone at the cabin. You did? Shit, that's not good. Yes, that's not good. What is around here? I guess that's the way to the cabin. Let's read this. Hey, Lions, Jess. tigers, mm -hmm. and bears. Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael. I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come what on, the hell? please. Come on. What? Let's not hug <laughs> a bear. Jesus, Jess. <laughs> oh my god. I, I'm gonna have to watch out for you. You're definitely likely to die. Oh crap, you're right, look in the telescope. Shit! Can I go back? Oh, please let me go back. Please let me go back. No! How could I forget about the telescope? Ah! 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 How oh, could I forget about the telescope? Oh no. You know what though? It could be a good thing. It could be a good thing that we didn't look in the telescope. It could be a bad thing that we didn't look in the telescope. Who knows? Maybe that could have led to someone getting hurt. Sometimes you're better off doing what seems like the wrong thing. Although I'm hearing some bad music. Watch out, bird brain! It's just... It's just answering his mating call. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, you've got a lot of love to give. <laughs> I'm scared. I'd be, I'd be fucking scared too if a bird came at me like that. At least the bridge is solid. Don't need any of that stuff we got in the mine. There's enough danger around here as is. Getting 
close to the cabin. God damn it, Josh. You have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half-empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. Ah! Boo! Damn. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? Yes! Oh, shit. Sammy! What? You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? Hardy <laughs> are. <laughs> 2244. Come on. Alright, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Jess, I don't know if you should, uh... I mean, Sam, goddammit, I don't think you should go ahead and hook up the water. Let's see how she's doing, mentally. Uh... She's feeling less honest, thanks to us. She's feeling more curious. And... She's, uh, not too close to, uh, to Jess at the moment. However, let me check the time. I think that we are out of it. Let me see. No, we got 15 minutes. Okay, let's do this. Actually, no, we don't have 15 minutes. I'm wrong. We have eight minutes. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to be doing another Until Dawn walkthrough uh, in a few minutes, but I'm going to have to end this one off just so, uh, like, our st I can edit the live stream afterward. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and stick around because in a few minutes, we're going to be continuing our Until Dawn playthrough, and we'll be, like, getting to the bottom of this. We're going to find Josh and ask about water. So, <laughs> until then, game massively. See you in a couple minutes, guys. Massive, live on YouTube around 4 p.m. EST, Monday, Thursday, Friday. Follow for notifications. on YouTube around 4 p.m. Yes.